I'm Jake. I'm going to recite Ephesians 6 for you guys and girls. It's a very important lesson in the Bible. Here I go. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Honor your father and mother for it's the first command with promise that it may be well with you and you may be li live long on the earth. And you fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, or according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, and seeing this of heart out to Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, doing good will, doing service as to the Lord, and not to men. Knowing whatsoever good thing any man does, the same shall be received of the Lord, whether or not he be bond or free. And you masters, doing the same things to them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master is also in heaven, even as their respective persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Put on the armor of God that you may be able to stand in this evil day and done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins skirt about truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shot the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching virtue of all perseverance and supplication for all saints, that utterance may begin to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am ambassador in bonds, and I may open my mouth boldly as I ought to speak, that you may know my affairs, to Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister and Lord, shall make known to you all things, that he may know our affairs, and that he may come for your hearts. Peace be to the brethren from love, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be about love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Have a great day.